Hi, welcome back to our honors geometry videos. On this video, we're going to talk about some sector areas. When you're looking at either pie charts or, you know, generic word problems. Here in problem 24, it says the music preferences of students at Thomas Jefferson High School are shown in the circle graph. Find the area of each sector and the degree measure of each intercepted arc if the radius of the circle is one unit. So if the radius is one, then the area is pi times one squared or pi times one or just pi. So the area is pi. I want to find the area of each arc, or sorry, the area of each sector and the length of each arc. So if I want to find the area, let's say of wrap, what I would do, let's do just wrap and maybe country. So wrap would be pi times 48%. So it's 48% and not 48 degrees. So it'd be 0 0.48 times pi would be the area. Now the circumference would be 2 pi r. Well, r is just 1. So 2 times pi times 1 or just 2 pi. So that would be the area of the sector. And the arc length would be 0 0.48 times the circumference of 2 pi. That would be your arc length. So if I do the same thing for country, that would be 0 0.1 or 0 0.10 times pi, and 0 0.10 times 2 pi, where this would be the area. You're taking 10% of the area and 10% of the arc, or 10% of the circumference to find your area and your arc length, respectively. On 25, a jeweler makes a pair of earrings by cutting two 50-degree sectors from a silver disc. Now I'm looking at degrees and not percents. So here I want the area of each sector. I need to figure out what the area is. So it'd be 2 pi r for the circumference, but I don't want circumference. I want area. I want pi times r squared, or 4 pi. So the area is 4 pi for the whole thing. The area of each sector would be, I have three of them. I have 4 pi times 50 times 50 over 360. I have another 4 pi times 50 over 360. And I have 4 pi, that big part is 260 out of the total 360. So that's the area of each sector there. And the second part of the problem says that if the weight of the silver disc is 2.3 grams, how many milligrams does the silver wedge for each earring weigh? So I have 2.3 I'm going to take the weight is 2.3 grams. So this is part A. For part B, I've got 2.3 grams. And I'm going to multiply that by that fraction. And that's going to tell me how many grams. So 50 over 360. Multiply that by 2.3 grams. So that would be 0 0.3194 grams. And then you would want to convert that to milligrams. So I would take that number there. 
And if I know my conversions, then I can just move that decimal place over. So 0.3194. If I move that over three spaces, that would be 319.4 milligrams for each one. Let me know what questions you have, and I will see you soon.